Mawlana was a great scholar of Islam, a follower of Islam, and, a, and, and an ambassador of Islam. He was not an individual who had his own cult or his own religion, or and he did not say things that were outside the teachings of Islam. Rather, everything he said, everything he said within his poetry, everything he wrote has an Islamic basis. Okay, this is the point of today's lecture, inshallah, ta for us to get acquainted with him. Okay, so let's, I think we will, uh, I think we'll continue, inshallah, we'll begin. <clears throat> so, as mentioned in this poem, where we, we read right before we, we, um, break, we took a break, that Mawlana, he himself calls himself a slave of the Qur'an, meaning everything he says comes from the Qur'an, and he calls himself the dirt on the Prophet wasallam's door, meaning everything he says also comes from the Prophet wasallam, and he himself emphasizes that, saying that whoever quotes me, whoever quotes me, and that quote goes against these two principal and primary sources, I have nothing with that individual, and I have nothing with that quotation. He himself has made this his foundation, okay? So now, and this is very extremely evident in his poetry itself. Okay, so there's a poem, um, very beautiful poem, Mawlana mentions in his, in his uh, Methnawi. He says, He says, Mawlana, that the Prophet wasallam said, while trusting God, tie your camel. He says, while trusting God, tie your camel. And as we know, this is a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet ﷺ, he said this, a man came to the Prophet ﷺ and he said, Ya Rasulullah, a'qiluha wa atawakkal, aw utliquha wa atawakkal. The Prophet ﷺ, this man came to him and he said, O Messenger of Allah, Shall I tie my camel and have trust in God? Or should I leave my camel untied and, and, and have trust in God? The Prophet ﷺ said, I'qalha, Tie your camel first, then have trust in him. Meaning, whenever we want to say, Insha'Allah, or I have trust in God, we should put some work and effort behind it. We shouldn't just say it without putting any hard work or effort behind it. There has to be some type of effort from our side before expecting Allah Azza wa Jal to do something about it. And Mawlana mentions this in way of a poem. And this is from a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This hadith is mentioned in the Jami' of Imam Tirmidhi, which is a famous collection of hadith. 